Hello everyone, I'm Catherine Decina Sapelin and welcome to Book Dissect, where I take the best and worst of books to help you be a better writer. This week I'm dissecting Dutch by Roland Willemans, and hopefully I didn't butcher that name too badly because it's a Dutch name. Uh, this was a short read. I'm not sure if I can call it a short story because it's not a story, it's nonfiction, so it's just information. Maybe it's still a short story. Don't know. But there's sort of like a contradiction to my review and uh, like I don't even know how to go about doing the review because on one hand I found it really interesting, but on the other hand I found the information just a bit dry. and. Like, I know, how can something be dry and interesting at the same time? And I think that is more of a personal opinion since I'm really interested in Dutch, since I'm taking Dutch and I want to know about the history of Dutch. And so for that reason, this book was very intriguing and eye-opening for me. However, at the same time, a lot of the information was sort of presented in a non-emotional, boring way and it was just blah 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 because despite this being a relatively short book, it took me forever to get through it because the information was just like uh, it was like it was it was like sitting in a class with like some monotone professor and you're there just like falling asleep that makes it sound like a horrible book but like I swear I was interested in the book I just I needed to take little breaks because yeah it was just it was dry it would have been better with some milk or something I don't know since it's Belgium maybe a beer a surprise though was considering how short this book was. It was compact with so much information. Holy crap. Like I feel so much smarter for knowing this stuff and what sort of made it funny is that I was talking it over with Prince Charming because I sort of assumed that the information in this book would have been stuff that he learned in school but I think for him, like school was such a long time ago that he doesn't remember. The information in here was so well researched that you really learn about Dutch from the point when Belgium used to be connected with the Netherlands and then after a war they were then part of France and how because of this situation in history that formed how Dutch evolved in Belgium and it was just so interesting to me because I think one of the things that I've always asked myself is why is Belgium a country divided by two languages? Like why didn't they just do French or Dutch? And when you read this book you find out the history of you know not only why the country is divided by language but also why that is actually an important thing that they did. And so it answered a question that I had for the longest time and I love, I love when I learn new things like that. And one of the best things about this book is that they quote original quotes in the original language. And so there are passages of the book that were in Dutch and some that were in French and that sort of threw me for a loop because, because I didn't notice it right away. I just, reading got more difficult and I couldn't understand why like my head just randomly broke. I've never read a book where they do quotes but keep the original and then have a translation and I I like that because when you know the original and you can still read it and then you can compare well was there anything lost in translation it, it was interesting I like that so if I ever have to do quotes I think I'm always going to quote the original and then do a translation because I thought that was neat. I thought this book was very interesting and educational and if you're learning Dutch or if you're just interested in languages or in Belgium and like a little history of linguistic stuff, I'd highly recommend this book and if you want to check it out I will leave you a link in the description below. You should check it out and that's what I have for you guys this week. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and you'll get an orange. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Tootsies may apple beans. Dutch is in English and I discovered this while I was stalking Twitter because Hannah Lee Kidder put some quote from her book that she's working on and she used the word Ruxa. I never realized that we totally stole that word from Dutch and then just completely butchered the spelling and I'm just like, oh my goodness, 